What's going on everyone? This is JJ with my bring back. Just uh, going through how to install WordPress today. So as you guys have seen in my previous videos, or if you haven't, go back and touch base. But a lot of the hosting companies have easy to use, simple scripts or quick installs for WordPress. But if you're one of those few out there that maybe, you know, chose to win, go with a cheaper hosting package that may not have those abilities, I'm going to show you how to actually install a platform, WordPress, um, for your blogs or your website, anything like that, through an FTP client, a file transfer protocol. Now the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is go to the platform website that you're looking to upload. And in this case, we're on WordPress.org. Up the top right, you can see the download. We're going to go ahead and click there and uh, download the WordPress file. After you've got the file downloaded on your computer, unzip it and you'll see a folder pop up with just a myriad of different files. A lot of PHP files, um, some WP admin and all that. Um, so you can see there's uh, quite a few. Don't worry about those for now. After you've got them on your computer, we got to do one step before we can actually move on to, uh, to modify those files and then upload them to your hosting account or your server. And the one thing you got to do is you got to go into your hosting account. So in our case, it's Bluehost. And scroll down until you find something called MySQL, MySQL Databases. And basically with the MySQL Databases, we have to basically set aside databases for the WordPress or for the platform that you're going to install. So you can see Bluehost makes it easy. They have a little section called Databases. Um, you can also search and uh, find the MySQL databases. There's a frequently access area, so I've been in here a lot. Um, so the databases, um, you can go in here and create one through here, but the wizard is probably your best bet. Um, so after you click the wizard, it's going to ask you, what do you want to call the database? So for the our sake, we're going to call it demo because uh, we're cool like that. Uh, now we got to create a user, so we're going to call it demo again. Password, we're going to go demo987. Password again, demo987. Now make sure you remember those because we do have to actually insert those into here. Okay, then uh, the final step to, to giving access to the user is giving the, access, or giving the user actual privileges. And since we are going to be uploading files and we know that uh, what we're doing, we're gonna give us ourselves all privileges. Um, you could limit those if you have somebody else working on the website and you only want them to do certain things. Um, you could limit their access there. So that's the final step is uh, giving ourselves the privileges. Click the next step and therefore uh, you can see we've got the user, the bring back underscore demo and also the database, the same thing. So we're gonna leave that there for reference and then we're gonna go back to the files that we had just downloaded from wordpress.org and you'll see if you look we've got some folders and if you go down just a little bit there's only one that we have to modify and that's wp-config.sample.php and with this file we actually have to tell it where we want it to store the databases um, so we're gonna open that in a text editor or if you're on the Windows side, Notepad or you know Dreamweaver, any of those that you can modify with. And so you'll see we've got the PHP file open. And right here, you'll see the MySQL data settings. This is the only thing that we have to modify before actually uploading it to our hosting account. So the database name, as you guys uh, chose your database name, in our case is the Bring underscore demo so that's the first field that we have to change the database user we also have to put that in which is again the same thing that I did for simplicity's sake and then we've got the MySQL database password which if you guys remember it's demo 987 those three are the uh, the three that we have to modify before actually uploading our files to the server all right, so after you've entered those three, we're going to save this as. And what we're going to do is we're going to take out this sample and just add PHP. Make sure it's in the same folder that we just pulled it from, and we're going to go ahead and save it. 
So after that, exit out of there. And if you go back to the folder, you can see the wpconfig.php that we just saved in the folder. The wpconfig.sample you can leave in there. It's not going to hurt anything if you leave it in there um, because it is .sample, so it isn't pulling from anything. All right, so after we've, we've uh, adjusted the config, config file, we are, we are ready to actually upload these up to our hosting account. Now, the, uh, what we've got to do is we've actually got to use an FTP client. And as I mentioned before, an FTP is a file transfer protocol. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the common known file transfer programs you can search. One of the ones that I did a video on previously is called FileZilla, which is one of the most popular in the industry works well open source free um, if you're having troubles actually installing it or using it um, go back and touch base on the video that I did previous to this on FileZilla and it'll, it'll it will show you a little bit about it and how to work it um, so again uh, open up FileZilla or your FTP client um, tap into your hosting account with your username password quick connect make sure you're in there we're already connected and uh, just a quick tutorial local site this is your hard drive side over here and over here we've got our server side um, so as you can see this right here is your root file this is your main directory um, within that I've got subdirectories um, this demo one that I've actually created for this specific tutorial is uh, kind of a testing grounds that I've actually already uploaded the the WordPress because it does take time but I wanted to show you guys the full extensive uh, tutorial here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the files on our hard drive over here and we're gonna drop them in to our hosting account so in this case I've created a, a subdirectory called demo and you can do it one of two ways you can find it on your hard drive here um, select everything drag and drop it in that I've already done or you can take it from your actual window or your finder take the files drag and drop them in uh, transfer all your files is probably gonna take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to transfer all 800 some files that are in the W WordPress um, installation but after it's in install we're gonna do one final step and uh, as I mentioned, I've created a, a subdirectory called demo. If you didn't create a subdirectory, um, I'll show you how to get around that or do that. But uh, we're going to actually go to uh, Explorer, just go to your web browser, and we're going to actually put in our domain. So uh, put in your domain, and in this case, it's mybringback.com. And then uh, if you didn't create a subdirectory, you're going to put wp admin slash install dot php since I created a subdirectory called demo we're gonna put in demo slash wp admin dot uh, install dot php so in that case you're gonna visit this this particular address and basically what this is doing is it's going into the, our files in the wp admin and it's reading this install dot php and so within this it's saying well we would like you to provide a site title username password and your email to get everything set up and so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna call this uh, demo username admin and then we're gonna go demo 987 demo 987 your email address sorry Jake at my bringback dot com and then you have uh, one option here, allow my site to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati. Yes, obviously, unless you're doing a private site. And then the final step, install WordPress. <clears throat> and so from this, it looks like it was it succeeded, and we are good to go there. Um, we've got our admin, our username, and our password that we chose, and it's time to log in. So as you, uh, as you add, input your username and your password, Demo nine, oh, demo nine eight seven. Wow, having troubles there. Log in, and as it takes a minute, there we go. We've got our back end. 
where we can start modifying stuff, adding to our site. If you want to check out your uh, your actual website and how what it looks like to start, click that up there, and there we go. We've got a we've got a start to our web page, and we are ready to start modifying, creating content, starting a blog, starting a website through this. So again, if you do have any further questions, leave us a comment. We'll uh, try to help you the best we can. Um, if you're having troubles with the FTP, go back and look at uh, my previous video on FileZilla, how to hook it into your web hosting account to upload those files, and, uh, and that's a great resource. And uh, again, you know, uh, subscribe to our videos. We'll, uh, we'll be continuing with creating a website, different functionalities, how we can implement different platforms, and then tweaking and modifying a WordPress file. So. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next video.